Okay, this video is going to be how to bring a PowerPoint presentation and import it into iTunes so that it will show up on your iPad when you open up your Keynote. So first of all, as you'll notice here, I already have iTunes open. Um, this is just on the iTunes Store um, page, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my iPad through the USB cable and it will automatically begin a sync there we hear the little beep in the background in a second we're going to see my computer pulls up this weird I think it's a camera but so ignore that but after that uh, you'll see that the iPad connects and it verifies it as my iPad then it's going to go through the synchronization process We'll wait a second while it does that. So remember too, while you're syncing, don't slide to unlock your iPad because it will cancel the sync. Um, so this next little bit's going to be a little bit boring. I might pause it here for a second. Okay, we're back now. My iPad synced up and I can now see it under devices in iTunes. So if I click on that, mine says Corey's iPad, yours are going to say whatever. But now here on the right hand screen you're going to go over to apps. Inside of apps it's a little, um, it's a little uh, confusing at first but you have your synced apps here and these are all the apps on your iPad. But if you scroll down you have file sharing right here. Under that you're going to have your keynote that's on your iPad and here you're going to see keynote documents. So here's some previous ones that I've imported. I have an example lecture over here and what we can do is take it and can we drag and drop it yep so I literally clicked held dragged and dropped it into the keynote documents area so it's now there so now the next step to do is just to go ahead and go back or go down here to sync go ahead and click sync and then you're gonna see up here where it's backing up it's gonna go through the same processes and now it's preparing to sync uh, in my case it's syncing another program here. In a second though we're going to see where it's going to sync up that application that we just dragged and dropped in. So this is appearing to take a while. I'm going to go ahead and pause it for a minute again. Okay I'm back now. It's copying a few other programs that are smaller but in a second. So you're going to see where it's going to copy the PowerPoint presentation that I threw in there. Let's go into the photos. That should take too longer. Oh, actually I copied it so fast we didn't even see it. So, and now it's finishing up, syncing. Once it's done that, then we're going to go to the iPad and see how we open up Keynote and how we open up that presentation once this finished. Okay, so iPad, iPad Sync is complete. It's okay to disconnect it. We're going to go ahead and do that. I guess if you want to double check the, yeah, the PowerPoint pre under Keynote, it's still there. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect it now. When we do that, it goes back to the regular iTunes. Now we're going to switch over and I'll do a recording of the iTunes of the uh, iPad. Okay, now I've just got done unplugging the iPad from the uh, computer. We're going to go ahead and fire it up. Slide to open it up. Once we're inside of our iPad, we're going to find our Keynotes application. Mine's right here. We're going to tap on it. It's going to open up either some previous presentations you had saved or with lots of folks, it's going to be right here where it says tap to get started with Keynote. If you've never opened it up before, it, it will not show up here. What you're going to need to do is go to this second button down here, and you're going to want to copy from iTunes, the top one. And then inside of there, you're going to find a list of the PowerPoint presentations you have in iTunes. In this case, it's this last one that I just imported, so I'm going to click on it. It's going to import the presentation. It's a little fuzzy. Import the presentation. It's going to take a second. 
and great and there it is so now when it first brings it in it's going to say oh, it doesn't support some fonts or this that and the other you know oh well it'll change the aspect of it but overall it should be fine and then once you have that you can next your presentation is there and then you can either use this view or you can hit play and then you can go and scroll through the uh, this has animations on so that's why it's doing that and then it switches so there's your animations and then one another thing if you want it when you're ready to stop your animation or the presentation just double click and it goes back into it and then from here you can go back into my presentations and that takes you back over to where you can see all of your presentations again and so that should be all and that's how you import a or save a PowerPoint presentation onto your iPad through iTunes and then open it inside of Keynote.